In this video, we are gonna be learning how to do a back split stitch. This is very similar to our back stitch that we learned up here, but this time, instead of going into the hole, you're gonna be going into the actual stitch. So let me show you. Starting at your starting point, you're gonna bring your floss all the way up, and you're gonna go about a stitch and a half length forward. So that's a little bit bigger than one of these stitches we had up here. You're gonna pull that all the way down. And then you're gonna go a stitch length up the line. Remember, this was a stitch and a half. Now we're gonna stitch length forward. And we're gonna split right in the middle of this stitch right here. Ideally, you'll be splitting it perfectly in the middle so that there's three strands on one side and three strands on another, but sometimes we use less than six strands and sometimes we just can't get it perfectly in the middle and that's okay. There are times when these stitches will be a little bit shorter. For example, I'll show you when we're up here doing a bide and a back split stitch that sometimes when you're going around corners, your stitch length is going to have to change just a little bit so that you can get nice tight corners. So I'm just gonna keep going a stitch length forward and coming back halfway into that previous stitch. At the end of the back split stitch, you don't have to do anything special. Once you've pulled it through, you are done. You can now turn your hoop over and tie it off and you are done. So that is the back split stitch. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more embroidery tutorials.